As old as human history goes, humans have always been gravitating towards soothing sounds. It can be um, the sound of a chirping bird, wind chimes, or even ocean waves. Some people even like sitting on the train and just be carried away by the constant repeating, softly clattering sound. For me, it's clearly the ocean waves that carry me away. Uh, by the way, there is an ocean uh, sounds meditation, ocean waves for one hour uploaded on my channel if you want to check it out. Um, yeah, let's dive back into the topic which is sound bathing today and sound healing. So um, just up front, we are living in a universe that is very vibrational. So everything that we sense or see, feel, touch is basically pure energy. Each thought that we have is pure energy. And energy, what is energy? Energy is ba basically a collection of particles and, uh, that have their own vibration. And when you look at sound, um, sound is not technically um, something that has been proven to do anything. Um, apart from a few experiments that I've seen where people played <laughs> different kind of music to plants and to, um, yeah, to witness basically whether it would have an impact on their growth, which in some cases had, but <laughs> yeah, the music uh, um, that flowers responded surprisingly to, you would might expect it would be like classic music, but yeah, it was actually death metal. <laughs> so, um, yeah, very surprising, right? Um, yeah, but what about sound? So sound and music influence our brain and um, we have our brain processes everything we hear in waves. So it's impulses from our ears that get transmitted into sounds that our minds know and understand. When we listen, um, sounds travel from our outer ear to our middle ear and then sound vibration stimulates our tiny hair cells in our ears and we have some of the smallest tiniest bones in our body in our ears so very very sensitive parts right um, so whatever we hear can and will definitely affect our well-being so um, also to mention here is important what does it do to you it releases healthy dose of dopamine um, so have you ever wondered when you hear like a very very great tune that you absolutely love you go to tune how it changes you and your mood and everything is just am amazing in that moment there we go this is the dopamine that gets released you associate uh, a certain piece of music a certain sound with some some happiness and then well there we go <laughs> our dopamine level increases and we are automatically feeling super happy yeah um so what else about sound um actually some people love to study with music music improves our memory and um so if you for example want to learn something there's a pro tip say it with music so um, you have, let's say, uh, you have a sentence from history that you need to learn. And sometimes there are some certain things, regardless how hard we try, we just cannot get it on our brain. So just say it with music, like repeat a sentence and then just say it over and over again with a melody. Just make some up or if you have a favorite song, just use this melody and just put the words into it that you need to remember promise this works um, in addition also to think about um, music doesn't only have a positive impact on our lives and keeps uh, makes us happy and uh, also healthy in, 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 in addition you know it improves also our motor skills and uh, yeah we can certainly uh, use some of those so when we pra practice playing instruments all our coordination senses are getting to use there so dancing also does wonders to the body so have you ever wondered where those instagram videos come from where 
those people who are beyond 80 still kind of, you know, they're rocking the dance floor. Why? Because they love music their whole life, they have danced to music their whole life, and they stay fit because of this their whole life. So, yeah, <laughs> why not to give it a go if you haven't started dancing, even if you think you're that dancer. Don't worry what the others think. The most important is what you feel, right? So let's put some upbeat music and just dance away and be happy. So the topic of today's video is also about sound healing. What does sound do to us? So we already disclosed that sound can have uh, um, healthy benefits on us, can increase our dopamine levels but what else can it do and can it really go so far to help us healing our body i'd say yes because of course i'm not a doctor so this is just an advice for myself and my personal experience that i've made um but yeah i made very very positive experience through sound healing so i go from time to time and book some sound healing with some professional sound therapists and it's not that they're sitting there with a the guitar or something, so they have special instruments. So most of them um, play, for example, a hand pan or a um, crystal singing bowl or a Tibetan singing bowl, a gong. There are so many very, very great instruments that have special frequencies. And those frequencies literally go through your whole body. And this has a tremendous impact on your whole body, but also on your mind. You constantly calm down. It soothes you so much and you forget about time, like entirely. And you are absolutely been catapulted into the present moment. And you let go of everything that's, uh, yeah, that's happening around you. So, um, yeah, I can only recommend it from personal experience. I absolutely love uh, doing stuff like that because it has only always have had a, a positive impact on me and my consciousness. Um, it's uh, literally experiencing uh, an altered state of consciousness, if you will. So you have um, reduced anxiety, your muscles just ease and you have a floaty feeling and it's really magical what you experience there and um, also what I always get recommended after those sessions and regardless where I have done those every sound therapist always say drink a lot of water after that don't drink any alcohol try to eat uh, healthy some fruits uh, some easy digestible foods basically also so that you really detox because it does something with you it really just makes you happy and it does release some stress something that you were holding on to eventually it's really magical beyond so you might also wonder what is an actual sound bath the sound bath is not an actual bath and you're not bathing and it apart from drinking water after it um, it has nothing to do with basing whatsoever um, however you still immerse yourself into it so basically how it usually works is that you book a session from there with a professional or um, yeah some people also just learn to doing it so for example here this is my personal 4c2 tuned crystal singing bowl that i have at home and yeah from time to time i feel like i need this sound and then i just you know give it <laughs> give it a hit and it's just so so relaxing right it's really super soothing and even my voice just starts coming down and just wants to get united with the sound it's just amazing so you go to the place where you've booked um, those sound healing sessions some of them come also to your home if you prefer and yeah most of the time it's recommended to go to to lie flat on the ground um, what i can um, yeah recommend from my personal experience i go into a yoga nidra position which is flat on the back comfortable of course um, the head don't have to be kept 
very high just uh, actually as lower as possible then you move your hands um, a bit away from your body so your arms basically a bit away from your body you put your hands with the palms facing up to the ceiling so that you are in the receiver position and um, yeah you also um, this tiny amount only just uh, that your legs are not connected so just move them outwards and yeah then just uh, yep yeah. <laughs> don't do anything just really experience and be there so and then um, many times it starts that the person holding the session um, might speak some prayers asking some spirit guides to join the session um, yeah also really do some 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 giving um, to the universe so that we will have all the good energy with this with us right and um, for me for example there was one time where i experienced something truly magical i was recommended by a few friends to go to a place and i was lying there and out of a sudden honestly really suddenly i felt like wind and it was a closed room and I thought okay maybe the people holding the sound bars are doing some sort of wind I just kept my eyes closed and I was just really so so into it and just really really relaxed there and then um, yeah funny enough I booked another sound healing session two years later just recently and then I asked uh, one of the persons who did it at that time and this person advised that you know um, can be a sign from a sp spiritual world that when wind comes up it's when you need a healing and yeah this is what i probably needed because i asked my friends who were with me at the first session and none of them experienced any wind whatsoever there are no windows there was no door close to me and um yeah this was really honestly um, a super weird thing but yeah, now also knowing what, what it was, um, yeah, it's, it's also great. So it's really mind-boggling experience, I'd say. If you don't uh, hear, hear my excitement in my voice, I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, so people who do those sound bars are also considered a healers because those chimes from those instruments create rhythmic sounds. And yeah, you, you really get immersed into this experience and it sound strengthens physical mental emotional well-being it balances your chakras it can even help some people with tinnitus and one important thing that's um, very important for me is it calms the busy mind if you are one of those people who have like me a monkey mind so one thought is chasing the next and chasing the next and the next one is like a firework in my mind sometimes and only this is really boom it just empties my mind and there i'm present and everything is just so whew, it's just amazing it's just out of a sudden i'm in peace and peace with myself my mind is quiet and it's just uh, great Another benefit is also it enhances creativity. So after that, you might find yourself that out of a sudden you have amazing ideas and visions, and um, you just it just keeps going with positive ideas. And you have certain creative blocks. It's wow! Just again, um, it's something that I can highly recommend to everyone. And if you don't have anyone doing it. Um, yeah, why not to, to, to get yourself some instruments and yeah, get creative and start it yourself and you can also, you know, then do it for friends and family and even for other people, you know, and, and uh, giving something out there and why it's receiving something for yourself, you know, when you play a crystal singing ball or gong to someone else um, not only this person benefits but also you you give something you get something you also experience the same sound like them and it's truly truly really um, earth-shattering experience for me <laughs> so uh, i hope this is helpful for you and um, talking about my experience with sound bars yeah if you if you um 
tried it yourself ever please um, leave some comments below and let me know right um, and share the experience with everyone who's going to read those uh, comments to here and if, if you haven't and you're curious or you have uh, another question on this yeah please feel free to comment below and i'm happy to answer everything or to research if i don't know the answer so yeah have a fantastic day and i shall see you in the next video well not much to you but hear you <laughs> or you hear me a bit if that's right